It's the three-month anniversary of the Concorde flying in and out of Miami. This was takeoff number 40 out of Miami International this morning, with passengers who pay about $4,400 for a round trip. Among those boarding this morning was pop music star Maurice Gibb and his family. We got to talk with them earlier. The Bee Gees, we found out, are frequent Concorde flyers. They like the speed. Well, it's the beauty of the Concorde is the speed, of course. And it's um, not as cramped as it looks. It's quite a, a lovely aircraft to travel in, and it's, a, it's an experience. It's all of its own. But will the Concorde from Miami to London inspire any Bee Gees music? Well, you don't hear much of the engines to give you a rhythm, you know, so it's very quiet in board. You know, especially when it goes to Mach 2, you, all you feel is a surge, and you can't really write anything to that surge, you know. It's got to be something a little bit more faster. You know? And the other ones, like DC-3s or something, you'd hear the props or something going, it'd give you a rhythm. This doesn't. <laughs> it's too quiet. Concord flies to Miami three afternoons a week and departs the following mornings. It picks up more passengers in Washington before flying to London. Just 20 passengers make the extension break even. Well, the Concorde's here to stay. Uh, we've now had an operation for three months. It's been very successful, and it is definitely here to stay. I think we'll maintain a schedule of three a week. The, the timings um, perhaps may be revised slightly. So for the supersonic jet set, the Concorde is here to stay in Miami. And for the rest of us, six days a week, we can get a glimpse of the rich and famous. Alan Mendelson, News 4.